Hi guys, today I would like to share with you a brief review of the really old phone, 2015 phone, it's Meizu Pro 5, which was quite popular like 7 years ago almost, and now I managed to update it to fly me uh, 8 version, and also I managed to install like Google Play services here, and I managed to update it to Android 7. So basically this device from 2015 still have chance to update Android 7 and to fly me 8, 8.05. Uh, of course it's Chinese version, it's not international. International version stopped to be developed uh, like 3-4 years ago and it was stopped with Android 5. But right now there is problem with Android 5, many apps would not install or update, therefore need to be updated to Android 7. So let's go one by one briefly. Here it's Meizu Pro 5, it's top version with 4 GB RAM and uh, 64 gigabytes of internal storage. Uh, this model had eight cores processor, so even for now those characteristics is for the phone for 200-300 bucks. So basically it's not that outdated. The camera was for 21 megapixel. It's of course only one camera with a laser focus and dual uh, flashlight. So basically it's not bad. Also has Type-C uh, one speaker and 3.5 millimeters, of course. In addition, microphones, two of them. And AMOLED screen from Samsung. So basically it's not bad even right now with current characteristics. Uh, also, uh, MIUI 8.5, Android 7. Let's... Okay, it's not tappable. Uh, Android security, it's August 1st, 2019. Also, there is a chance even to install Google Pay services. Yeah, it has NFC, as you see here, NFC. Basically, there is possibility to install it. I didn't do that yet, but if you will uh, put thumbs up and put some comments below that you want to see how to install uh, Google Pay here and activate, because it was not available. Now there is a chance using root, using Magisk to install this uh, here. So just leave it in the comment below. Also, it's installed custom recovery and using this, uh, of course, it's unlocked bootloader as well. As I did all the instruction, if needed, I can do for you specially. So just leave it in the comments again below so I can know that it's interesting for you. So I can show you how to unlock bootloader on this phone and how to install Google Pay and how to update it to latest Android version. So basically what we have, we have Chinese version of phone, we have Chinese uh, of uh, software, Chinese firmware and Google Play services here. Okay, after installing I've got uh, English language here. By default I installed Google, Pay Google Play services, Google Play Store here uh, using Magisk. Now internet is disabled so never mind on this. I install all those services here. So basically I have Google Play Store, I have uh, Google app here that works quite well. And uh, battery consumption also not bad. It's around five hours of active screen here. Um, let me show you the graph. So basically Google Play service consumption is not that big. I also fixed it. If you're interested in how to fix it, also leave a comment below. I can create separate instruction how to fix the Google Play services battery consumption. Uh, for now on, let's just briefly review how phone works. So it works actually not, not bad. It works quite smoothly and fast. On Android uh, 7 you can install almost any app because Android 7 supported by all the apps here modern apps uh, latest versions yeah uh, basically let's go one by one so that's how uh, settings looks like uh, quite uh, updated comparing to flyme 6 or 5th version also what what's available here so the bar is like this uh, uh, you have here a notification, unimportant notification filtered automatically here. Um, okay, SIM and network, it's not that important. Uh, VLAN here, so Wi-Fi, nothing special. You have additional options, screencasting, you have uh, 
Wi-Fi sharing. Yeah, you can connect to Wi-Fi and retranslate it using your phone. So it's uh, quite a convenient feature. Uh, Bluetooth, uh, yeah, just files, nothing special. Screen. So you have uh, night mode added comparing to previous ones. So you can schedule it and it will be automatically dark option with such nice animation. Of course, you have some small troubles at uh, watches and uh, charging. Uh, it's very dark, so I don't know why it's not white and I don't think it will be fixed because it's the latest version But remember this phone is 2015 and it was updated in 2021 Six years after release so quite good for such old phone Of course the uh, version is Chinese, but still you can fix it and make it international You have uh, color temperature here. You have uh, uh, screen zoom and font size so you can increase how your uh, icons will look like so you can make them large you can make them small the same with text I don't know if it's change or no oh, okay it's change let's keep it how it was before uh, okay you have uh, you have zoom mode yeah uh, easy mode so if you need this phone to your grandma or to your child, it's also quite convenient. Auto lock 30 seconds. Okay, this one is quite simple. Uh, here, uh, not that much changes. Haptic feedback. Hi-Fi sound. Oh yeah, I forgot to tell you this one. Uh, this phone supports 3.5 millimeters hi-fi uh, sound that's installed here, special audio chip. So it works uh, quite well with the sound as well. Uh, seams and wallpapers. So you have Fly Me style icons and avatars. You have wallpaper chargers that will change. Oh, changer, yeah. That will change uh, your wallpapers on your screen. I don't know if it's convenient or no, but I don't use it. Truly speaking, the font is Fly Me font, also updated comparing to previous versions. You have navigation multitasks here. So you can set uh, some settings to your M back button, how it works. So you can put back regular Android uh, bar and you can use just your bottom, like sensor button. Smart touch, I don't use it. Okay, this one is quite, uh, quite regular options. Uh, what else? Double press home button you can set. Yeah, some activation of something. What can we put on this? Let me see. Play music on lock screen, launch camera. You have notification and status bar. So here you, have, you can have quick look. So open notifications, quick window, quite convenient. Bubble notification, also quite uh, modern game with Android 7. Of course, now we have Android 12, but this one's still working well. Um, lock screen music, percentage in a battery bar. You can put it separately or inside uh, the battery status. Fingerprint face security is added. Of course, it's not that safe to use it, let's say. Yeah, from privacy point of view, someone else can lock your screen with photo or whatever other way. But still, this option is added, so it works. Root permission. Yeah, you can, of course, uh, give root to your apps directly from your phone. Um, Emergency shows, digital well-being, apps, I will just skip it for now. Actually, I was using a titanium backup with a root to remove uh, stock apps. It was around, I don't know, 20 Chinese apps here. So I removed uh, all of them using like digital well-being. You see it's asking to install because I removed it and some other apps because it's always uh, consume more battery and resources of your phone. So you have emergency SROs button. You can set it up here, emergency contacts, also quite convenient for kids or uh, parents, grandparents. Uh, battery, okay, skip it, also nothing special. Just you can enable uh, low power mode or super saving mode. You can balance your performance, nothing special comparing to other. You have this AICY. Uh, it's like Google Assistant, let's say. Yeah, I removed it, so it doesn't work. Fly Laboratory is preparing, nothing more. Accessibility features, so you have game mode, like money mode, drive mode. Actually, I never use it, so disable all of them, but maybe drive mode works fine. 
schedule on off accessibility nothing special here so this is all the features that were in previous version so i will not focus on them have google account and so and since language and time storage and backup and system update yeah let's just check ah system update also removed okay <laughs> All right, uh, so 64 gigs, available 30, apps are not consuming that much, so this phone still can be used even right now. So as you see here, it's a camera, how it looks like, so you have a zoom button here. So it's quite convenient to X4 zoom, you have beauty mode, you have... Uh, Let's see, HDR, you have uh, flashlight, countdown, some, what's this? Okay, some filters, yeah. Funny snap, I don't know this feature, funny snap. So yeah, just disable it. <laughs> uh, what else, settings, yeah, all the features are still similar, but just some design changes, so video size up to 4K, so phone can record 4K, 30 uh, fps in 2015 so still quite good till this time you have super night mode you have pro mode document adjustment scan slow-mo yeah actually slow-mo is quite fine working so basically the camera is still fine for this time uh, what else what else yeah clock still similar just some minor corrections from like uh, design point of view calendar same here nothing special so all the other okay all the other apps still similar as before as i see download toolbox toolbox pedometer yeah, toolbox also quite nice quite handy random here <laughs> coin flipper so still like fly me feature is still available here so uh, just to sum up this phone even in 2022 can be used quite normal it has again 4 gigs of ram 40 uh, 64 gigs of memory the processor of 8 cores the screen is 5.7 inch amoled screen camera is fine of course it's not suitable in the dark mode but still it's not bad uh, it has laser focus um, so basically this uh, phone with android 7 and with this fly me uh, 805 it's still use using quite well so if you have this phone somewhere in your house you can find it you can flash it and use it quite regularly uh, with this phone so basically Really recommend to install this latest uh, firmware on your phone and if you need some instructions or you want to fix something just uh, leave a comment below, I can create some other instructions. Basically that's it, thank you for watching and see you next time.